Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here. I'd like to welcome you. I, um, ooh, I'm, I'm struggling today. I did a uh, video, was it yesterday? I don't even know what day it is. What's today? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Oh my goodness, what is today? Today is Wednesday, uh, June 21st, 2023. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock p.m. I uh, did a video yesterday to show you, or maybe it was Monday, maybe Monday, I don't know, <laughs> to do the um, rope coasters, rope bowls. So I showed you how to do that. I told you I was gonna come back with a video to show you how to do embroidery, but boy, can I be honest here? Wow, I'm, I've been struggling. I started this this morning and it's six o'clock in the evening now. I have had uh, thread breakage. I have broken about four or five needles already. Uh, the first item I did was a uh, what I thought was not too well uh, involved stitching. I just struggled. So then I went out to embroidery, is this an embroidery garden? Embroidery garden, I think. I don't even know. My mind is just blown with this. So I decided I was gonna come up, I wanted to finish it. So uh, I bought a few of their designs and they're kind of made for doing on these uh, rope coasters. But again, I'm struggling. Uh, the threads are breaking, needles are breaking, getting stuck. Um, this is only 18 minute stitches and I feel like I've been working on this forever. I had to take a break. I literally had to walk away, had to walk away. So I'm in the final step. This is the final. It's this whole thing is 18 minute stitch. It's less than 10,000 stitches. And this is the final, the final, final five minutes. And it's doing the black outline. So I thought I'm going to stop now. I'm going to turn on the camera and um, I'm going to think, put my fingers crossed. It's 9,261 stitches and I'm at 7,279. So I don't know, do the math. Seven, another 2,000 stitches maybe. But we're going to do this. We're going to finish this together. It's really cute. It's a bee with flowers. I mean, it's not that involved. But man, all right, so I just re-thread again. I'm gonna put the foot down and um, I will uh, probably not talk too much because I'm nervous Nelly with this. I mean, I didn't think it'd be, be so difficult to make the actual rope coaster I sewed on my sewing machine. Go back and watch that video if you want. That's easy peasy. This? I don't know. I mean, I just, I spent some money to buy some designs that I thought were appropriate, you know, to do this, but I'm like sweating bullets here and being honest. So let's go ahead. Um, I kind of was holding in the button here to let it do stitch by stitch. The other thing I did do is I uh, slowed down my machine from the thousand and whatever it was to 600 and some thinking, all right, let's slow down this puppy. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how many more needles I'm gonna break and thread I'm gonna break and have to re-thread, but I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna do this together. All right, so here we go. But um, I'm using a wash away stabilizer. I'm gonna hold the button in, you know, I'm gonna do that. I mean, if I have to hold the button in for five minutes, so be it. Um, but I'm wash, uh, five by seven hoop. I made my coaster five inches around, about five inches around. And um, like I said, I slowed the speed down. This is uh, black thread. It's doing the final outline of it. You hear it? Wow. Um, I used a spray, uh, a, a glue spray that's appropriate for machine embroidery. I can show you that, but not right now because I'm holding the button. 
I just want to finish it. I mean, I'm scared to do another one. I don't, I don't know. Have any of you done this? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Am I supposed to use a tearaway? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I should go back and read the directions. I didn't think that I was going to need directions for it, but maybe I do. I don't know. So we're at uh, 7,375. I'm going to let it go. Let's see. I'm going to let it go. If I can keep my finger nearby to stop. Did you hear it? This is like a struggle. I hope I don't like do anything to my machine. I mean, I know this is done. People do it. I'm going to slow down here. Uh, people do it. You know, I mean, uh, I've seen them. They're d Listen. This is a new needle. You hear it? I don't know if you have any suggestions, tips, whatever. And uh, to the person that said too much talk, mm -hmm. this might not be your channel because I talk. Why do I talk? I talk because, um, you know, sometimes you need to talk. You need to talk to people that do what you do and can relate to what you do. And, um, this is what we do, right? We talk, we discuss, offer suggestions. But if any of you that are watching have done this, or no, I'm gonna let it go again. Listen to it. Break the thread. I don't see the thread. I don't see the thread moving. Okay. Yeah, no, it broke the thread. Look at it. I mean, look at it. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another video on it, but I know I promised you all that I was going to do a video. And I know a lot of you were excited. You're like, we can't wait to see, Sue. We want to see you do this. Um, I'm going to go back 20 stitches. Yeah, see, I don't know. Maybe that bent the needle. Because look, it's not even threading the needle. Let's try it again. Anyhow, I told you I would do it, so I'm doing it. I mean, I don't want to let y'all down, but I don't know. Now I'm kind of like, I don't know, do I contact embroidery garden? Yeah, see, I bet that needle is, is bent. Um, so let's change the needle. I mean, this, this little coaster, I use a little nickel to, um, and the sun's coming in the window, so I apologize for that. I'm going to uh, loosen this up. I'm going to take the needle out. If I can get it out. Let me raise this back up. Maybe it... Uh... Use the presser foot button to lower the presser foot. Okay. Then maybe the needle up. Okay. All right, let's try to get this up. Oh, look at my needle came down. Let's take a look at it. Does that look bent? Yeah, oh yeah, let's see how it's bent. It's like bending the freaking needles. I'm uh, sorry I used the word freaking, but, oh man. And those of you that like, I don't know what you do with your used needles, but I use an old pill bottle. This is from the beginning when I started embroidering. Just keep adding needles and I'm gonna eventually, um, you know, throw it out. But let me get another needle. This is a very expensive coaster. 
and I just realized I don't have my microphone on, so I'm sorry. No microphone. I'm very worked up. Let me raise this up. Very worked up over this. Hoping that I haven't done anything to my expensive machine. But I'm thinking I should have done the PE 770. I mean, that puppy is like a, a tank. Maybe I'll try doing that. And get the needle in there. All right, hold on. Let me put the foot down. Sometimes that gives you a little bit more room. Get that needle in there. One thing I would suggest, and this is last time I took it in for service, they told me that um, don't just tighten this with your fingers. You know, use your the little screwdriver that came with it. Man, I can't even get this in here. Although, you know, my, my hand strength isn't the same since... the flat to the back I don't know my hands are like too big for this or something sorry I keep bumping you Ow, ooh, I just poked myself all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen this up let's see push it all the way up I'm gonna tighten it then I'm gonna use my little nickel and it fits perfectly in that I'm gonna tighten that up all right let's lift our foot our foot Oh my goodness I don't know I'm like sweating here I'm sweating bullets I have the window open I got the ceiling fan on high let's see all right so it threaded that time so the needle straight if if it won't thread the needle enjoy the times and that means that your needle is probably bent uh, where are we at here uh, we're almost we're at 7800 all right here we go Oh, jeepers. Are you kidding me? See? What happened there? It broke the freaking needle. It broke the needle. The needle is broken. I don't know. So I am a little ticked. So you spent money to buy the designs. Look at the needle is broken and it's bent. Oh, good heavens. Here's the other part of it. That's the other thing. You want to be careful. You break a needle. Because um, I'm looking for where my my scissors. I think they fell. Where are they? my big ones. I don't know where my little scissors went. Um, oh, uh, what was I saying? When you break a needle, you want to make sure you find it. Because it falls down in the contraption. Underneath. Can't. There, I see it's shiny. See it's shiny? There it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Look at that, it's like really bent. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Don't know. Here we go, here's another one. Another one for the needle jar. I mean, this little coaster is gonna end up costing me like $25 by the time I'm said and done. Between all the thread, all the broken needles. I'm using organ needles now because the Schmetz needles, I, I use them all. And I kind of switched to Schmetz. I had seen a uh, show. They did a, all brands did a YouTube um, live with Schmetz needles. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get them. I got them off Amazon. And I have to say, I think I like them better than the organ needles. But I use them all now. I'm going to put that down. Here we go again, folks. I think I'm going to try this one more time. And if this does not work you know there comes a time in an embroidery person's life that you just gotta say i'm done with this 
I know, I sound weird today, don't I? I sound weird? I'm frustrated. I mean, I've never experienced. I mean, I have had thread breakage. Oh, I have to raise this up. I've had thread breakage. I've had needles break. Not like this. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin the machine. No, oh, I want that thread. It like throws it out of whack. But before I literally, okay, there we go. Before I literally just, I, I left broken needle and all in the machine and I just walked away. I just walked away. All right, let's thread it. All right, needle is thread. I'm not even gonna back up this time. But I'm thinking because, I mean, I, I, I think, I don't know what I, I don't even know what I think anymore, but I'm trying to find that thread, but I don't know. I mean, it's like lifting up a little bit. I mean, I have it glued down. I certainly can't hold my hand in there the whole time. Like, are you kidding me? All right, here we go. Oh my God. Sorry, I didn't mean to say God, but it broke another needle. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it broke another needle. Look at how it broke the needle. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's it, folks. I'm done. I mean, is it because it's so dense that it's going over? But it's, it's supposed to be made for this. So, what do we do in this instance? Here's what we do. I'm going to show you. Let me, um, let me get all this out of here. I think after this, I'm going to go back to stamping. Because I didn't even make it to 8,000 stitches yet. So I have more than 1,000 stitches to do. Use the pressure foot. Oh, all right. Pressure foot. But I don't think the pressure foot went all the way up. Because I think, there we go. It threw everything off. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's get this needle out of here. Oh, my gosh. Like, look at how that broke it right off. Can you see that? Like, it, like, literally... But I want to show you something and I'm going to, here's, here's the other little tiny piece it's right here. I don't want to, uh, I don't want that to fall on the floor because you know, it go in the, it can go in the carpet and then man, you step on that, you're going to be going for a trip to the emergency room. We don't need that, do we, in our life? No, we don't. All right. Um, I'm, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I mean, you were good while you lasted. It would have been fabulous to do. Let me show you. It would have been fabulous to do all the outline. Let's look at the back. Oh, look, I'm pulling my bobbin thread. Let me trim. Oh, something's poking here. I bet there's a piece of needle still stuck in there. Almost poking me. Ow! Yeah, there is up in the flower here. Up in here, somewhere. There it is. Look, there's another broken needle part. Right there. Yeah, it's bent and broken. Um, but I want to show you something. There, there's a way around it. There's a way around it. I mean, maybe, maybe I should have stitched it out in regular. It still feels like there's something here. Something's stuck there. Something's stuck. Like a piece of needle is stuck up in there. I mean, that, that would have been so cool. Wouldn't that have been so cool? I think I'm going to leave it in the hoop. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. I'll attempt but there's still a piece of a needle stuck right here. I can feel it. Let me get my, get my tweezers. The sun is coming in and I can't freaking see. I need to get the tweezers. Which 
try to pull that because there's definitely a piece of needle. Something sharp in there. Where it broke off. All right. Okay. Done with that. But let me show you something. Oh, there's my scissors. Oh, I'll tell you. I don't know. I think, it, like, I'm not an, a drinking person, but right now, I feel like I could go for a glass of wine. Okay, so let me, let me show you. Come on over here. My desk. Okay, so here was a rope bowl that I made. Very cool, right? And, uh, and I just bought a bunch more of the rope, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. So this was the first design that I thought I would try. And then I thought I'm going to just do it on fabric. Okay. And it's probably a good thing because look how dense this is. You don't want to use a dense thing like this. I had a few, look at the back of it. I had a few needles that broke on this one. Not nearly as much as broke on that other one though, but look how pretty that is. So here's, here's the thought. The thought is to uh, stitch it in the bottom of the basket. So A, it could do this. It could take this, I already trimmed it, but I could take it and um, first I have to iron it and sew around. But you know, I'm getting tired of sewing today. So I'm gonna iron, I'm gonna press this first and I have this with the stabilizer. And then what I'm gonna do is I, um, I could take it and trace it around with a uh, pencil or whatever, cut it, and then do a zigzag to attach the two to this. Or you can take it and you can glue this all down Okay, and you can insert this in the bottom of your basket. And I think that's the route I'm gonna have to go because I'm just too nervous now. You know? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Take this, and I probably could do it like on this way. So here's the center. Now the center, I ended up with a lot of issues with the center um, because, you know, don't forget when you start to do this, you do the crisscross thing, you know, to do your center. So it's dense to begin with. But if I, you know, do this, uh, hold up to the light, probably, yeah, you can do that. Hold up to the light, trace around it, and then um, take it to my regular sewing machine and zigzag, and then just attach it to the bottom of the basket. And I think that's my route to go. I still have this piece of rope left. I thought this might be fun to, you know, hot glue it. You know, I hate wasting anything. Hot glue it maybe to the end of the basket or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just, can you tell I'm frustrated? But anyhow, um, where's that other one? Let me bring that one over. Let me bring it over really pretty I was really excited because the black really is bringing out but you see how the center goes like down like in a hole I don't know I don't know if I did something wrong but I'm still determined it's just I need to walk away from it right now I need to walk away and maybe tomorrow I'll come back and start fresh with a new day so I'm not taking off so let me tell you, this one is a five by seven hoop. When I did this one, I did this in the four by four hoop. I used water soluble stabilizer because I thought, you know, I'll just wet it and this will just all go away. Because if it's a coaster, you don't, you don't want to be seeing on the back. You know, you don't want to be seeing a stabilizer on the back. Um, maybe I was wrong in that. Maybe I should do some more research, but um, I figured, you know, I would just water soluble stabilizer with my little uh, water brush and get rid of that and we'd be good to go. And I mean, I was gun ho. This was going to be, I was going to be working on lots of, of these rope coasters, but I may be rethinking that. My other thought is, and I've done it before, is use my embroidery thread, the variegated embroidery thread. Sorry, I keep hitting the 
stand. Um, variegate it embroidery thread and do the zigzag around. And that looks really cool too. But I'm just, just so disappointed because I really think that that black stitching really it's going to bring that out but i don't know maybe another design maybe that i'll try another design and i'll first do it just on a piece of um, muslin and see how it stitches but this one definitely is too dense but isn't it gorgeous this is this design is from creative fabrica and the other ones i i bought today are from embroidery library and i'm really mad because i mean i bought a bunch of designs and if i can't do it on these coasters gonna have to make I don't know this would even be cute to make like little gift bags you know you would like sew it on your regular machine but I love the bee love the detail in this one but man look at the back that's like one hot mess and that is hard I mean that is so that my friends in a nutshell is embroidering on these rope coasters i'm not giving up i'm just quitting for today so if you have any suggestions comments please nice please don't tell me i talk too much i mean that this is my channel if you think there's too much talk this might not be the channel for you then but anyhow i am going to finish this up I'm gonna upload the video for you. I have a Zoom meeting to do um, with my stamping business. Uh, it's 6.30, that starts at seven. I'll have enough time in between to prepare something um, for my upcoming stamping Facebook Live. And if you're into card making, paper crafting, check out me on Facebook at uh, Stamp and Sue Creates. You're at Stitching with Stitch it. No. I can't even think of my chat, my channel name. Stitching with Sue. Stitching. Stitching with Sue, right? <sighs> I'm too frustrated. Oh, I want to show you. Here is the spray that I used. This is um, basting adhesive. It's for sewing, quilting, embroidery, and pattern piecing. Eliminates pinning. Will not gum up needles. So... I cannot blame this that this is creating an issue because it's a temporary bond and it will not gum up the needle so it's made by spray and bond and that's what I used I sprayed it I hooped I hooped my stabilizer and I sprayed the stabilizer and then stuck this on now I do have um, the flat uh, sticky hoop with the sticky paper I may try that. I do have that. You know, maybe this is lifting up too much, like from stitching, but I don't like how it has that indentation in the center. Man, that, that is like a rock in the center. That is hard. Because this, when it's stitched, it's stitched like a base in gold, and then it's stitched the yellow, and then it's stitched the black. So, I mean, there's a lot of stitching there, but I mean, these aren't that much, and I still feel that needle. There's still a needle in here. I'm getting my tweezers. Ooh, pardon me. Need my tweezers, but I'm very sad. This makes me sad because I was excited to do this for you, and it didn't work out, but such is life. Things don't always work out the way we want them to work out, so we just move on to something else so anyhow thank you so much for joining me again if you have any suggestions if you have done this if you maybe i you know i am learning just like all of you i am not an expert this is the first time i've done it i kind of watched a few videos kind of like sped through a lot of videos because i didn't want you know i wanted to just get down to the bones of it but um didn't work out too well for me but I'm not giving up I'm just taking a break sometimes you need to take a break so uh thanks so much for joining me I really can I tell you I really appreciate each and every one of you that continues to reach out to me to continues to boost my morale to tell me how strong you all think I am although you know I have moments I have moments where I wonder why God has done 
this to me maybe to waken me up but I, I don't I don't know but I'm just gonna go with it I'm gonna do my best oh I did want to come and do this yesterday but I had to do yard work and can I tell you cutting the grass hosing my house down cleaning up the yard what exhausting exhausting took a nap Dory and I take a nap I posted a picture I took a nap and Dory took one with me so anyhow okay I'm gonna end now because you know I talk too much but um till next time thanks so much for watching and I would appreciate your wonderful comments keep them coming they boost me they they give me another reason to keep going and uh until next time happy stitching bye for now